Hey y'all, it's uh, Tordica here, aka Cat, coming to you with a post review for Treasure Studios Arts uh, Cherry Blossom uh, by Lizzie Falcon. It's a 40 by 80 centimeters, it's the smallest size. I did order this um, last year, I believe, ish, start of last year of 2021 straight after Stitcherisa had finished her her version of it she done the size up from me um at the time I wasn't hugely into diamond painting but I fell in love with this piece um I'm gonna start this video off uh slightly different before I go into this um just uh I don't know if anyone has heard Probably everyone's heard about it at this stage, but um, anyone that's an anime fan or grew up with the show um, probably have heard of Kat, uh, is it Katsuki uh, Takashi. Um, he actually passed away. Um, hit a lot of us fans extremely hard and um, just, I don't know what to say. Um, he's been a huge part of my childhood for 20 years. Um, I've been watching it since, I guess, since I was seven, seven or eight. Uh, it, I'm 32 now, almost 32 now. So, and um, Yu-Gi-Oh! just celebrated its 28th anniversary a couple of years ago. Um, so it's, yeah, it's extremely hard. Um, I also, that's also why I have this. Tattoo. It's actually Blue Eyes White Dragon with the Kaiba Corp logo. Um, I got this for the 20th anniversary. Uh, just because I'm up, I'm obsessed with Yu-Gi-Oh, and it's just uh, it's been with me since. So um, I'm probably gonna get another one at some point. Uh, this is probably five, four or five years old at this point. Uh, just I honestly I don't know. It's like. If you're a Yu-Gi-Oh fan or grew up with it, you'd know who the creator of Yu-Gi-Oh is. So, um, but I'm, I'm showing you, a, I started a project, um, I'm on a no-buy at the moment, so I'm finishing kits that I do have. I made this, uh, pattern, of course, Kaib is on my screen. Um, that's what I'm working on. I made this pattern myself, so it's, uh, Dark Side of Dimensions, uh, uh, I had to um, sub substitute uh, colours, as I said, I'm on a no-buy because I'm on holidays, but um, this is pretty much what I've done so far in the cross-stitch. I, I honestly, I don't know how I'm even doing this, it's so confetti-heavy, but it'll be worth it when it's done. So that's my tribute to uh, Kakashi. Um, so... It'll always be in, uh, I'll always cherish the series no matter what, so, uh, yeah, it's gotten me through some tough times, we won't get into that, but, yeah, uh, but I finished this one a couple of days ago, I was just waiting for a right time to videotape it, and I'm on my own at the moment, so, um, We'll get into this one. Uh, I had a few issues with popping drills. Like I said, I got this last year, so I don't know if things were different back then. I haven't ordered a new uh, new kish since, but um, there was like a color here that was a four fourteen. It bugged the hell out of me, so I was just like. Fish, take it out, um, change it to black, and it looks look better. So it's I. It was probably a highlight, but sure, you can tweak your own diamond paintings yourself. Like it's not a big deal. Um, but I have posted this on my Instagram, so full image. Um, of course, one comes off there. I'll keep that to the side. Um, but. It's black, so I will show you the drills now. Um, yeah, it's, uh, that 
fix it. Uh, I will be keeping the inventory sheet for my folder. I usually do. I did when I first started. Um, this little pot here, um, it's just, it's actually a bathroom storage thing for shower gel and stuff, I believe. I've seen it in B&M, um, Home Savers here in the Republic of Ireland. So, um, it was only like two pounds for a set of three. Um, I ran out of storage at the time, so I just worked from baggies in this. So, it's been in baggies since, so... But I didn't run out of anything uh, at all. So quickly go through this because I plan to put them in my storage after. Um, this is mostly a post review oh uh i wanted to run it by you guys as well i'm planning on changing my um platform name i'm, I'm keeping todakai obviously but i'm thinking of changing it to todakai crafts uh just because this channel is a lot more than just diamond painting i do other crafts too and just it's been on my mind for months now, so it's, um, it's not like it's a huge uh, thing. But if you guys like the name Todakai Crafts, uh, I am waiting on a package to come in the mail, and I probably will change it after that arrives. Uh, that is a few items that I got. Um, but, uh, yeah, if you guys like the idea of me changing, I guess I could say, um, moving up. Um, but, uh, yeah, if you guys like the name, comment below. Uh, and thank you, um, to everyone else that, uh, sub uh, subscribed lately. It really means a lot, uh, that you're even watching and liking my content, because I'm just doing stuff on a whim here uh so it's and for fun it really so um glue dots uh i tried them and i just don't like them uh so nothing against people that do like them it's just not my thing i prefer the uh wax um be putting that in my take these out I have a place for my access drills. Uh, but yeah, if you're, if you're ever in uh, your local hardware, or not hardware store, but for, um, whatever them stores are that have bathroom products or stuff like that, just look for these because they're great for baggies, like literally. They're just, even small baggies, like, so, uh, but yeah, this is um, the biggest one I've done so far, and I plan to uh, sort those out next. I will not be doing that on camera because that will take forever. I did try, and I'm just like, eh, effort. But I will be work continuing on working on, um, I forgot to mention, that is a 32 count um, Swigard, I believe, fabric. So it's only come. The picture is coming out to ten inches by six inches, I believe, um, or centimeters. Which it's it's better on thirty two count because it's just going to be pixelated on fourteen count, and I'm like, nope. <laughs> so yeah, um, that's all I have for you, you guys today. Um, if you like, comment, subscribe, and. You want to see more, uh, let me know in the comments below. I will try and update frequently. Like I said, I'm on a strictly no-buy um, thing, so uh, I will try and keep my buying to a minimum until October at least. Um, after that, I have no plans. Um, I have thought of going to uh, Montreal next year. It's up in the air at the moment. Um, I have family in 
the area. So um, I'm thinking about that, uh, Montreal, Canada. Uh, so um, usually when I have my mind set on a trip or something, that's usually what it is. But it'd be around my birthday if I do decide to go in 2023. Um, it's I didn't even get to go anywhere for my 30th, <laughs> let alone anywhere else uh, during the pandemic. So I guess that'll tie into four different, uh, yeah, four different birthdays for me, or three. I don't know. <laughs> I'm rambling at this point. So um, uh, I'm going to leave this like this and I'll let you guys go. So bye, guys.